Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll be showing how to update the firmware on the DJI Mini 4 Pro and DJI RC2 remote controller, which may at times also updates the firmware on the Mini 4 Pro batteries. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. For a while, it was almost normal for drone owners to refrain from updating their firmware out of fear the update would break something or remove a useful feature. Now, while some do stay with the original firmware their drones were released with, updating your Mini 4 Pro's firmware is beneficial and also recommended. Over time, there are indeed tweaks, new features, and bug fixes added periodically. These updates improve the user experience. One such recent much appreciated feature for the Mini 4 Pro is support for DJI Goggles 2, DJI Goggles Integra, and DJI RC Motion 2. To update the firmware on your Mini 4 Pro, you'll need, of course, your Mini 4 Pro, a DJI Remote Controller, and in this instance, the DJI RC2, and all of the batteries you own and use for the Mini 4 Pro. Additionally, as a general rule of thumb, it is advised to have the Mini 4 Pro batteries and remote controller fully charged before running firmware updates. The steps to update the firmware on your Mini 4 Pro are as follows. Before turning on the Mini 4 Pro, remove the gimbal cover. This will ensure that when the Mini 4 Pro is turned on, the movement of the gimbal will not be impeded and cause errors. Turn on the DJI RC2. Now, after booting up the remote controller, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. To check this, go into your settings screen by double sliding down the notification shade. If your Wi-Fi is not enabled, tap the Wi-Fi icon and wait for a connection. If you are connecting to Wi-Fi for the first time, press and hold the Wi-Fi icon. This will bring you into the Wi-Fi settings. Here, you can connect to your preferred network. Next. Turn on the Mini 4 Pro. If you use your DJI RC2 to also fly an Air 3 in addition to the Mini 4 Pro, depending on which drone was flown last, you may need to scroll through the list of drones used and choose the Mini 4 Pro. Select the Mini 4 Pro, then choose Go Fly. Now, if you only have the Mini 4 Pro, you'll most likely enter the DJI Fly Camera View screen immediately. From within the camera view screen, press the back button, which will take you to the Mini 4 Pro home screen. Here, you'll see that there's a firmware update available. Choose Install. If you haven't already done so, unfold the Mini 4 Pro so you can insert the next set of batteries after the initial update has been installed. During the update process, the lights on the Mini 4 Pro will flash various colors. The DJI RC2 will also reboot itself. After the firmware has been installed and updated, you may need to update each battery that you own and use for the Mini 4 Pro. Next, turn off the Mini 4 Pro, remove the battery initially in the Mini 4 Pro for the update, and insert the next one. Now turn on your Mini 4 Pro. Hit the back button after the Mini 4 Pro turns on and goes into camera view. If there is a battery firmware update, you should now see another update available this time for the battery. Here, select Update. You'll then be brought to an additional screen that says Update Available. Select Update and then the Mini 4 Pro battery will update. It's normal while the battery is in the process of being updated that the Mini 4 Pro may reboot itself in possibly more than once. After the battery's been updated, you'll receive a message saying Firmware Update Successful. At this point, you can exit the update screen, return back to the DJI Fly Home screen. If the Mini 4 Pro is not shut off at this point, you'll need to turn off the Mini 4 Pro, insert a new battery, and boot up again for each battery that you own. This will initiate the update for the battery, after which you can repeat the aforementioned steps. Now, depending on the number of batteries you have, this process can take a few minutes. We'll briefly talk about manually checking for firmware updates. If you notice that you haven't been prompted automatically that there is a new firmware update available, 
you can manually check for updates by doing the following. With the DJI RC turned on and connected to your Wi-Fi network, while on the DJI Fly Home screen, simply go to Profile, Settings, Firmware Update, check for firmware updates. After the DJI RC checks for the update, if there is none, you'll receive a message that basically says your firmware is up to date. If there is a new firmware update, then you'll be alerted and have the option to run the update. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.